Okay guys, Ryan with the Journal 82 channel here. I'm super pumped to show you guys this. I dropped the video, I don't know, maybe about a week ago, telling you guys about my quest for the perfect everyday carry smartphone setup. And just make, just really quick, uh, what I was wanting in an everyday carry for a phone is avail uh, able to store my credit cards and ID, able to have a handle on it that could double as some type of mount, like a pop socket for example, and work with wireless charging. And I wanted that because I don't want to carry a wallet, I need to be able to hold my phone without dropping it, and my last phone wore out because I didn't use wireless charging or the charge port wore out. I'm just plugging it in and unplugging it so much. So, um, my last phone had a credit card case, credit card holder on the back with a pop socket on top of it. And because of that, the wireless charging wouldn't work. But the rest of it I loved. It would store four cards and I could use the pop socket and I could mount it in a vehicle. First, I tried this Kezi Home case. And I gave you guys a review of this a couple weeks ago. I thought that this would, I knew it wouldn't work with wireless charging because it's got this big hand strap on the back. But I thought otherwise it would handle my needs. It would store four cards. It had a flap here. Uh, I cut the flap off. Um, but I tell you, I've been using this and I find myself not using this hand strap. I don't know if it's just because it, it takes a little more work to get your hand in there or if um, it's, it's kind of loose. It's not as tight as I would like it to be. Um, I do like how it would work as a kickstand. I find myself using that more than I did a hand strap. Um, but you can't use the wireless charging because the strap's in the way. So I found a better one, guys. This case right here. I'll put the name of it on the screen now. I found this on Amazon. It was half the price of the Kezi Home as well. But let me tell you about this case. It's also leather. It's also got the magnetic clasps, just like the Kezi case. But it doesn't have the strap on the back, so wireless charging works. It works. This thing is leather and plastic, and the wireless charging works through this. Now, so that gave me wireless charging, and then I decided to take a pop socket and put it up here by the camera. That way I can lay this on the wireless charging dock that's maybe about as tall as my hand, and the pop socket just lays over top of it like this. Wireless charging works, and I can hold it with my hand. Even with the pop socket up that high, it works perfect. It doesn't matter if my phone's like this. It doesn't matter if it's folded all the way open like this. It still works, see? I can hold my phone like a book. I can use it with the other hand. I can walk with it like that. It works fantastic. Uh, I've got four credit card thick cards here, and then I also have a, a very thin health insurance card, and this thing still still folds closed. Um, however, there's one major difference in the Kezi Home case and this case. And the Kezi Home has the flap that goes over your cards and this is so when you close your case, your cards don't rub your screen. However, on the front of my phone, I have, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got a, it's got a case on it. Let's see if I can get it off for you. There it is. See this? I've been running this on the front of my phone. This does not come with this wallet case. This came with another case of mine, and this is the only piece of it I'm using. So with this case on, it still shuts, but my credit cards are just rubbing, my credit cards are just rubbing on plastic. They're not rubbing the screen. I would not use this case with these cards like this if they were rubbing the screen. But if you put some kind of screen protector on here, you're good. So that means my quest for the perfect everyday carry case looks like it might be in an end. Um, the clasp and opening this doesn't bother me like they used to because it's magnetic. If it was Velcro or Snap, it would drive me insane. But where it's magnetic, I just grab it by the bottom and open it. So now I've got credit card storage, wireless charging, and a pop socket. So I can hold it with the socket, I can mount it in my vehicle, I can mount it wherever um, for pretty cheap. I can fold it open, everything works great.
This is the best setup I have found thus far. I was also skeptical about the pop socket sticking to the leather. Um, I stuck it, it hasn't moved at all. I'll let you guys know if it falls off or something doesn't work right. But so far, this is the best setup I can find. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the pop socket does show up in the camera if I have the pop socket open. You can barely see the edge of it. But if you close it, it does not show up in the camera no matter what I'm doing, which if I'm zoomed in, zoomed out, everything's good. So I think this is pretty protective, guys. I mean, not only do I have plastic bumper, screen, um, a lot of cases for the fold don't protect the actual like edge here. Um, the leather case does, so I'm, I'm really doubled up. I've got the leather protection, I've got plastic protection, and that makes me feel a lot better when you're talking about a $2,000 phone. Uh, also, the Kezi home case didn't have the hole right here in the top that this one does. It does come with a cheap little lanyard that you can put through that hole. So if you wanna dangle it or put it around your wrist or whatever, and I may, uh, I may do something like that as well. All right, guys, I will put a link to this Fold 4 wallet case down below. I'll, in fact, I'll put a link to everything you need. I'll put a link to the Fold 4 wallet case. I'll put a link to the pop socket. I will put a link to the front screen protector. I'm, you know, one similar to it. Um, I'll also put a link to the Kezi home case in case you prefer the rear strap and you don't want wireless charging. Um, one thing I will say is this Kezi home case was available in, um, I don't know, six or seven different colors where this case um, right now is just available in like three. It was like this one or maybe green and purple. What I'm really wanting is a, I don't mind this dark leather, but what I really want is like a beige or a khaki colored um, if I'm gonna do a leather wallet case. I don't want a black. I'm so sick of black phone accessories. I could scream, um, but I think this looks pretty classy and it's insanely functional. So uh, if anybody else is out there is as um, crazy about I am as my everyday carry phone setup, hopefully you guys will appreciate this video and you can maybe click the Amazon link and grab some stuff you need for your phones or from around the house from that link to support this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. If you've got any comments, uh, if you've got any questions or comments about a better everyday carry setup that gives you more function than this does, please leave it down below. I would love to hear about it. Thanks so much, guys. Ryan with Journal 82. See you in the next video.